A friend of mine in New York was trading for a living. I went to go see him, met a room, two rooms worth of traders. They were all trading stocks, which is very hyper. And I, I didn't like it, but I was intrigued. I met one guy that was there, an ex-professional football player, who was a few years younger than me at the time. And I was like 25, 26 at the time. And this guy was making like $40,000 a day. He made $10,000 in five minutes when I met him. So I was like, wow. But I did some research and stocks wasn't for me. I think... Uh, one of the first things I did, I went to a trade show, one of many I've gone to, and uh, I, I met a lot of lost souls at the trade show. And that's how I got into the S&P 500. I have found out that you can make money when the market is going down. And so it was very intriguing to me. And that's how I got started. Wow. I've done everything from going to take classes with so-called gurus, bought software. I've done it all. I've been trying to do it for 20 years, been to trade shows, always trying to get an edge. You hear about people that, oh, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Then you find out that not 99%, 100% that is, is just lies. I came to the realization after about 10 years of trying it that I really need to calm down a little bit and reevaluate all this. I had never met a person who made money consistently doing it. I was completely sold that software wasn't the way because all the software does, it starts to work for a little bit and then it stops. 100% of those guys that are teaching it aren't making money. So they, that's why they teach and that's about it. You never watch them trade live or anything. You know, they get you the people uh, that, you know, only been doing this for a little while. So you ask them, is there anyone who's doing this for a living? Oh yeah, I got this way. You go talk to them. They have a job. They do this part time. They don't do it full time. They make very little bit amount of money. I've been to trade rooms where there's 500 people. You start to speak with them. You start networking with them and you're like, this just, there's, there's just no way anyone, anyone is making money in this. That's kind of been, I've been very skeptic, extremely skeptic for over 20 years. At, um, but I was still intrigued. I said, you know, they say 1% of the people do make money, but I think it's very important for you to meet people that, or try to, that do do this for a living and do really well. To be honest with you, you're the first person in over 20 years that I've met that consistently makes money out of this market. I always thought that, that this is one of those things they say, if you concentrate on something for five years, you're going to be a pro and expert on it. That's not true. I've been concentrating on this for 20 years and no, I, it's, I never thought. I thought this will be one of those things that is like way out there. And today I'm training consistently. And this is a thing that I was 100% sold. I will never be able to do. And now I look at it from high, from this end. And I was like, this is always in front of you. And when you get taught correctly and get the right support, you'll be very successful. And the funny thing is when you put this all together, it is incredible. You wake up one morning and you're like, oh my God, I got you got aha moment. And I never, ever thought I would ever get this. I thought I would die and never get this. And, and you get that aha moment and look at my hand, look at, look at my arm. My hairs are just standing up. It's a God's honest truth. You get that aha moment. And you're like, oh my God, I did it yesterday. I finally figured this thing out. And it's incredible. It's just an incredible feeling. You're physically, mentally, you can feel the, just the energy in your body just completely changes from one day to another. It's incredible. It's incredible. It really is. I, I hear this thing about teaching people how to fish. Why should I give you fish? Let me teach you how to fish. It's the same thing. It is the same thing. Imagine 20 years ago, if I knew what I knew today and had the ability I have today, my life would be so much different. You know, one of the one things I want to do is just an endless travel. I mean, endless travel where I don't even have to go home. And I think today I could achieve that. I could actually achieve a dream that I've been dreaming about my entire life. It's just perfect timing. Things happen for a reason, right? To be honest with you, I was scared just to put on a trade. One contract and two or three point risk, I would be, oh my God, it'd be the end of the world if I lost. And like I said, you, I was always very skeptic about this. I can honestly tell you today, it doesn't matter if I win or lose. It's the same thing. The same emotions. 
I don't care. I know for 100% of the fact I'll get my money back. So I, it doesn't concern me. I'm pretty on an even keel. I don't get too excited. Sometimes I get a little bit nervous when the market is running my way and I'm like, when should I get out? How should I pull my stop? Things like that. That, which is a good thing, that makes me more nervous now than anything. When I lose, I mean, I lost this, this morning on my second trade and it was like, okay, so what? And I, I today I, I made two winning trades and one losing trade. I had five points. That would be an awesome month for me, no less an awesome day. Awesome month. That's how far things have gotten. Trades, if they lose, it doesn't, doesn't affect me emotionally whatsoever. I just wait for the next one. I see so many trades during the day. I can honestly tell you, I probably see a dozen, over a dozen trades a day I can take if, if I want to. There's that many. For me, I just want to make a few points, get out of the market. I want to get more consistent at it, put more contracts on and be done. If I can trade two days and be done it for done for the week, that would be fine too. The way I attack this is that I saw so many of your videos and I was always trying to wonder how the heck does she do this? How can she get into these trades? And I was forever trying to figure it out. So I always watch your videos all the time. I've watched every single video that you have three or four times over. And I still watch them. I still watch them. I still get something out of every video. And I think that to me, what I was missing was that I needed to concentrate on the 1597. That 1597 and the MACDs. If you learn how to do that, that is the holy grail of trading. That's where all the magic happens. So if you can master that chart and read that chart correctly, you will be an unbelievable successful trader. The other stuff is just noise. A lot of stuff happens anyway. The double bottoms, the exhaustions and all that. Just concentrate on the 1597. That just made me successful. I was looking at a long uh, today. I didn't take it. It was at the end of the day, but I could see it all sudden out of 1597. And exactly what happened. Boom, boom, boom. And it, there it went. Do I get frustrated because I'm not in those trades? No, I don't. I don't. For me, it's a it's a learning process. You're going to learn. You're going to be uh, learning, just learning what your limitations are uh, and what you want to get done. I was going for two points and then I would have one contract at three points. The last couple of days I've been moving that up a little bit at a time. So now I'm up, I think at two and a half points or something. So it's a little bit more of a reward than, than risk. So if I was 50% right, which I'm probably about 75% right these days, I would be profitable at 50%. So the reward is, is much bigger than the risk always. And I try to bring my stop up. So if it goes up to two points, I bring it up. Either where I get in or, or a quarter point, a, a tick above. Um, and I've gotten stopped out. I've had three or four stops out. I, I, I had one uh, yesterday. So it, it happens. One today, I try to get in and never got filled. Just never got filled. It happens. The thought process is, and to me, in my own mind, if it goes up to where my profit was and it doesn't fill me, to me, that's a winning trade. I read the market correctly, which is the most important thing. If I didn't get filled, either going in or getting out, that's the that's life. But at least I did the right steps. That's more important than, than the actual profit. You got to treat the SIM account like it's real, real, real money, okay? If you treat that with real money, you're just going to transfer all that emotions, learning everything into a real account. That's the bottom line. If you blow up your SIM account, you're going to blow up your regular account. Do everything in the SIM. Make your mistakes. Perfect yourself. It's like professional baseball. They're in the minor leagues. And they go through years of the minor leagues. And when they're good at the minor leagues, they get to go to the professional. Same thing. If you're not ready with sin, you ain't ready for real money. That's the bottom line. As far as I'm concerned, my goals in trading is just to stay profitable. I want to be able to travel. I want the money that I make from this to, for, to use it to travel. I don't think I'm ever going to stop trading again. I mean, there's no reason not to. This is not like playing a sport that you physically or mentally can't do it anymore. Actually, I think it'll help you mentally because you're going to be sharp every day. You're going to be energetic every day. You can plan your life around things every day. Even, you know, I started a software company, but... Whenever I'm done or ever I start to sort of semi-retire from that just because it's it's sort of a business and it's going to take care of itself and I don't need and will need to do the day-to-day -day business in it. I'm going to be able to 
live the lifestyle I want. You know, right now I, I spend three to four hours a day either running or lifting weights, exercising. So I want to be able to do that. I just want to be a little bit more mobile and be wherever I want. If I decide tomorrow morning I want to be in Puerto Rico or I want to be in Costa Rica or in Hawaii, I want to be able to do that. I want to be able to say it's only money. It's five or six thousand dollars to go take that vacation, but you know what? Who cares? It's trading money. Actually, it's someone else's money I'm using that I made in the market. It's just, it's as simple as that. And then, you know, getting to another point, you want to get to a point in your account where if you put five thousand, ten thousand, twenty thousand, or hundred thousand dollars in that account, that you make that money trading. Then think of it: that initial investment was an investment you took out of the market already, and now you're trading with other people's money. How better does it get than now someone else is funding your lifestyle? Then that's how I see things. Someone else will be funding your lifestyle. If you're a good trader, someone will be funding your lifestyle in the future. And that's kind of the way I look at it. It's as simple as that. So someone else is already funding my lifestyle. And that's a great way of looking at it. And that'll take some stress off of yourself that I'm losing my money. I already made this money a couple times over. Over the last 10 years, you took something that was okay. When I saw this product 10 years ago, it was 10 years ago, exactly 10 years ago. As I can remember, it's 2011. It's, I think you took that and you took it to another level because I don't think those guys took it to this level. And I remember the charts and everything, the, you know, these graphs that they were doing and all that. Oh my God, it was so unnecessary. It was just, it was unnecessary. Right now, it would be confusing. It's extremely confusing. You see these guys, these beautiful charts. I get this stuff on Facebook all the time. Oh, cow. It's a lot more simpler than that. That's why all these people are so confused. That's why I was telling you, everybody wants to be held by their hands because almost 100% of the people out there are just ripping them off. So there's been, one, two, I think it's three live classes. So... I went to go look at them just because I was real curious. And I wanted to see what they were doing and what I saw in the marketplace. And these guys, oh, I'm going to take a trade here. I'm going to take there. And I'm looking at my chart. And I was like, oh, my God. These, these guys really don't know anything about the market. And I, I can see that this is going to go long. And they're, they're, they're trying to take it short. And I said, wow. And I've got 400 people in my room. They follow me religiously every day. I'm like, this is really bad. This is really bad. And let me tell you something. I feel I can go into the markets, and I'm not being cocky, but I know what's going on in the S&P. That is just mind-boggling to me. And if you look at my chart, there's only a couple things on my chart. There's not a lot of things on there. There's not a lot of things on there. Most of it is in here and how I analyze, analyze what's on there. I know what's going on in the market. I mean, I'm not right 100% of the time, but I'm pretty, pretty darn consistent. And it's 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 a blessing and it's a privilege to, to know that. It's very powerful. I don't know how to explain it to people, but I'm sure there's a, I'm sure you have students that had those moments and they're like, oh, my God, I can't believe this. It's just, it's incredible. I feel so empowered. I used to be worried about money all the time. I worry about money about that much right now. It, it's it's so low on my totem pole now. It's 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 not in my circle anymore. I know I can go make it. And that's a great, great feeling. I wish I had this 20 years ago. I really do. That's the only frustrating thing for me right now. I wish it was 20 years ago. But, you know, it is um, privileged to, to know what I know. I'm very I'm very humbled that I, you know, got to meet you and where I'm at right now. I never thought I would, I would ever get there. It was incredible. Actually, when I started looking into this was, I can tell you, September of 1996. And that started 20-some-odd years of a lost soul, completely lost. And it's incredible. It is incredible. I've been watching your videos since you started just a couple of years ago on YouTube, but I knew I wasn't getting everything from your YouTube channels because you would fast forward them on YouTube. So I wasn't getting some of the detail stuff. And that's what I needed to know. I started probably about a year and a half ago when the pandemic started and I had access to your videos. I started watching them on and off a year and a half to really boom. And I swear to you, man, I got up one morning after a night and I'm like, is that what I really have missed on? And I swear to you, that next day, I pulled every single trade in the I didn't miss a single turn on the market. I said, this can't be. So I spent the whole night looking 
Next day I started trading and it just it just went from there. I was like, oh Jesus. Every morning I would wake up, I said, today's gonna be the day that I'm gonna have like five or six losing trades. It's, it just it just has to be. This this can't happen. It has to happen. It just it just it just hasn't happened. It's uh it's great. It really is. But it is so empowering and it is completely life changing. I recommend it completely. It will change your life like nothing else in your entire life. When you get to figure out how to trade the S&P, you're out of jail for life. You know, and, and um, my background, I worked for one of the top 10 best companies I worked for in the world for 15 years. They let half of us go. And we were always told that our jobs are always going to be safe. You're going to be able to retire out of here. You're safe as it gets. In the history over 125 years, that was correct. Owner dies, the kids take over. It's not like that anymore. That's when I really started to focus in. I need to do something on my own. And I didn't want to go back into the corporate world. And that's why I started my, especially the last five or six years, it's just been incredible. But even now, knowing this, it's taking all that into a different, different realm. I want to just trade a little bit uh, each week, make a few points, do a lot of contracts, and be over with and just go do something else. I'm so comfortable now, I can tell you, I can take my computer to the beach, and from the beach I can trade. That easy, that comfortable, without a problem. I feel that comfortable. That was not in. The, that was never in the plan. Never in the plan. Yeah, I would. I could never picture myself doing it. I'd be too nervous to do that, even on one contract, no less. 10 or 15 contracts, that would be just insane. Like I said, it doesn't affect you. When you get to a point where the winners and losers don't affect you emotionally whatsoever, you're there. If you're very consistent on the sim, I recommend to go on live, but don't go crazy. Maybe start with one or two contracts and say, well, for every $1,000 or $2,000, I add one more and one more. And make sure you're still consistent. You get to 10,000 and you're doing three or four contracts and just take it easy. It, I always say, oh, there's a, there's a good trade. There's always a good trade in the market. And I said, yeah, you're falling. No, there is always a good trade in the market. It doesn't matter the time or day. I have even traded after the market at night. I said, that's how I started because it was nice and slow before the market, nice and slow. So there's something there you can trade. And if you're a little bit nervous because the market during the day is too fast, trade before the market or after the market at night. I always evaluate every trade, winner or loser, after the market closes every day. And just to make sure that I'm, the thought process was correct. And if it was, I'm fine. If I did something uh, like today, I was trying to chase one because I was on a call and I shouldn't have, and that's the one I lost. So, you know, those things you evaluate. So it, I tend to do things once. I don't try not to make the same mistake twice, but I just evaluate every trade I did. I even get mad if I did a trade and I won and I shouldn't have been in the market. I, I learned from the winners also. It's as simple as that. So again, I will, I will get more emotional over a stupid trade that I won than I would if I won the trade or lost the trade either way. They have a routine every day. They follow the same steps every day. That's why they're consistent every day. Even if they're not consistent winners, this is consistent thought process. And that's what you have to be consistent. If you do that consistency over a long time, I think you'll be successful. But again, if you're not taught by the right person with the right tools, it doesn't matter. And just stay away from anyone in the world selling you software. I guarantee you none of it works. It just doesn't work. It, the software is up in here. I've been proud of myself for learning something that I thought was impossible to do, impossible to learn, and no one was making any money. But I did know one thing. If I ever met anyone that was consistently making profit, I need to listen to that person. And if I do, I will be as successful as that person or even close. That was always my thought process. So it's important to get someone that is actually profitable doing it. And you've really got to make sure because there's a lot of gurus out there.
that I can tell you are a nightmare. And I hear all stories about everything. And, and you know, at the end of the day, I think the tools that I have are, are incredible. They're incredible. So I just, I'm prepared every day. I, I think I'm unbelievably prepared. I think for newbies, it's a blessing. They're going to get to learn the correct way uh, to trade the markets. Uh, if you have bad habits, you got to get rid of those bad habits, those bad thoughts, uh, the psychology that you brought into it, because um, it will affect you. I got into this very skeptic, but over time, I knew that it, it, it would work. Over time, I knew it would work. Um, so I don't think hey, I don't I don't think your knowledge or lack of knowledge is going to matter. I could take my 19 year old daughter in college and have her concentrate on this for the next year, and she wouldn't have to go to college. She'd be able to do this for a living, you know. So I I don't think the age or knowledge or if you're 80 years old or you're 18 years old and you have a lot of experience or no experience. You can get to that point there where all of this is going to work for you. You just got to put in hard work. If you think this is going to come overnight, it ain't going to happen. Just keep watching those videos. Just keep reinforcing that. Keep reinforcing and reinforcing and you will get it. I promise you, you will get it. And if not, you find someone who is successful doing this and they will sit down with you. You will be an expert. The video vault, the, to me, the video vault is um, irreplaceable. I think it's the best tool I have ever seen. And watching the videos over and over and over and reinforcing things, for me, work for me. They work for me. And I think when you have some spare time, there's questions and things that you're wondering about. If you go back into the vault and watch the videos, all those questions will be answered. You just need to listen and listen, just almost in a state of meditation, and just listen and watch. While you're talking, while you're talking through the trade, watch the chart, then you're going to know what you're thinking. I know that if I see a chart, and I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking this, I guarantee you Lindy's thinking the same thing. I'm going to be just fine. It's going to be exactly the way it is. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. That's because the market decided to go in a d different direction. I learned from it and there's just things that you're not going to be able to control. What you can control is your thought process and your execution and being prepared and prepared. Like any professional athlete will tell you, you have no idea how many hundreds of thousands of hours Michael Jordan put into practice before he was a good basketball player, hundreds of thousands. And that's the same thing with trading. I have put in a ton of time on this. I've been obsessed with this for 20 years. And, you know, but it's going to work out. You're going to be just fine.